652 on the 20th of uh, February. It's uh, one degree. It's, uh, it's up from zero half an hour ago. And uh, I feel like a little bit of wind. My watch said it felt like negative eight with the wind chill. Well, his nose has got to get his nose has got to get adjusted. <coughs> that quick blast of cold there. Gets in the morning. Run about over here from February twentieth. Now look at this. No ground cover. Come on, bud. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, you can see the flag moving up there a little bit. Anyway, went to town yesterday. Get some groceries. I uh, had get some diesel. Yesterday I estimated 16 gallons, it was 15 and a half. So I was off by a half a gallon. I probably could have continued to try and top it off until I got 16, but I don't want to spill diesel all over the side of the truck. <coughs> Plus at $4.37 a gallon. I don't want to waste the money. I'm having to trip down the side of the truck. <clears throat> 437. Other places was 440. <clears throat> I pass uh, oh, there's five places I get six places I get diesel, and uh, Smith's was 437. The Lee Handy Stop was 430, 440. Uh, Big Apple Golf was 437. Dice Heart was 440. I don't know what uh, the place next to McDonald's is. And we didn't get down. To, well, we did get down to uh, near Sirocco, but I didn't notice. Anyway, <clears throat> Flynn, come on. Flynn, let's go. Last night we were watching, uh, I'm getting uh, distracted here. Back to that later. Yeah. <coughs> we were in there well, just around one, so we had the uh, McDonald's. You can get a double cheeseburger, which I think is two slices of cheese, or a McDouble, which is one slice of cheese. And if you buy two McDoubles, you get two for three ninety nine. Otherwise, I think one is three twenty-nine. <clears throat> so I get two McDoubles, and uh, Flynn gets a burger, which they used to be uh, ninety-nine cents, and now I think they're a dollar, dollar twenty-nine. Might be higher. I don't know. I should have got two McDoubles. One for Flynn and one for Rita, because Rita had one. So if I had gotten the... He's looking at the snow again. If I had gotten the two McDoubles instead of... Uh, one hamburger and one McDouble. Uh, 
one I would have got a lens for 70 cents. And we had two burgers. Come on, bud. And cheese. Oh, last time we were listening to uh, NASCAR. And uh, you can see here the tracks. And there's a sensor. Uh, Kyle went right past the sensor last night. <clears throat> that one beeps and says driveway, so we know it was that one. I got two other ones. One is down the field to the west, and that says uh, backyard when it, after it beeps. And the other one just beeps. I think I heard that one beep once. That's down in southeast. <clears throat> Boy, he's full all day. Trail of coyotes, I guess. So the coyote tracks there. Strange, I haven't heard them in a while. But they're out here. No, come on, stop. Stop looking at that. Come. to uh, get the truck washed or we'll wash the truck but the line was too long <clears throat> he is all over the place this morning no oh, come on come on And we watched uh, the Daytona 500. It was supposed to be on Sunday, but they had, I guess, bad weather down there. And uh, started at 4 o'clock. I was snoozing. So Rita realized it. And put it on around 4, 4, uh, 4.50, 4.40. Four to five, and uh, <clears throat> probably they started late, or they had some sort of competition caution. I don't know. And we tuned in at lot six, just as they were restarting, and they had a huge pile up. <clears throat> I uh, I will never like their stages. They have three stages. <clears throat> I 
where we're at, we're, uh, at the east stage, well, the first and second stage. They throw a caution, everybody comes in and puts tires on the car, hills up, punches up the field all over, but uh, Daytona, the, the field is always bunched up. Come on, get out of there. Flynn, come on. Let's go. Yo, one confused dog this morning. <sighs> so the, the race is going good until I guess ten laps to go. And there was a huge crash. I think it took 18 cars out. <clears throat> I like the old days where none of this, none of this, none of this stage crap. And <clears throat> if there was a caution, you race back to the caution to see if you can get a position back. Now, as soon as I throw the caution, the, free of the, the field is frozen in place. Ow, ow. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. <clears throat> <clears throat> and they have the, uh, <clears throat> the regulations have everything so equally matched that all the cars are on the 70 x speed. So it's 40 cars all bunched up. There's no real racing. Go back to the days of uh, Smoky Eunuch. Where you had innovation. Yeah, actually, uh, I think you raced a Chevelle. It was uh, scaled down. There were seven eighths. Come on, get out of there. Seven eighths the size of Cheddar Man. Let's go. Thunder, I think it was called. Robert Duvall and Tom Cruise, I think. <coughs> Where uh, Robert Duvall had stopped racing with us. I think they said they suspected the car that here's a the uh, crew chief. And I think they accused him of having the exhaust. Too thin and it bled carbon monoxide into the car. And his driver passed out and died. But anyway, I mean, that's the kind of stuff they would do back then. They would uh, lighten certain components. Change the uh, carburetors. Uh, Intake valves, exhaust valves, that kind of stuff. But now, everything's fuel injected. <clears throat> everything's got to be exact same specs. They, they uh, test the cars <clears throat> after qualifying. They test the cars after uh, after the race. And if you, uh, <clears throat> you have something that's not to spec, you're disqualified. <clears throat> and the uh, 
the guys driving. We'll get them no fewer and fewer, although Jimmy Johnson was driving yesterday. He was driving a Toyota, which is unusual. He used to always be Chevy. Come on, let's go. He had retired, but now he came back with another team. And uh, he was impacted by that uh, uh, <coughs> lot six crash. <coughs> Wasn't too bad, but he, he ended up being like five laps down at the end. Because he, he could get up to speed, but couldn't compete. Uh, sorry for boring your stuff. Oh, there he goes. Sorry for sure boring your stuff with the people with NASCAR stuff. I used to really like NASCAR. I'd watch it every weekend. There's a nice winter up here, and if we watched NASCAR ten times in nine years, it's probably a lot. Flynn, Flynn, where are we going? Flynn, come on, in the house. You took care of business. We just got sewing today, so I'll probably uh, vacuum. Uh, I don't know if that's still working. Nope. That's weird. I lost the... Uh, lost the hybrid already? Come on, bud. Boy. Whatever he smells on the side of the road here. <laughs> really get to be annoying. <clears throat> yeah, battery. Battery shot. And it just I, I just charged it. Low battery shutting down. <clears throat> Never did find a second battery for that. <clears throat> Maybe I'll look for that today. This Saturday was supposed to be the hot dog roast down at the, uh, the locks at Cislodopsis. Come on. But uh, because there were some big trees that got blown down, they were moving the location to the new parking ride. made a parking lot to try and keep uh, uh, ice fishers from driving on the trail with the trucks and uh, just going into the trails. <clears throat> so we were going to have it there, but now with the lack of snow we're just going to fire up at the big grill at uh, the club on Saturday. And uh, 
The reason we're doing that is because it's not just on the trails. I mean, you could, if you want to, you could try to drive your sled on that, but you could hit a lot of, a lot of bare ground. So Saturday, it's 11 to, 11 to 2, and later on Saturday, I'm supposed to get some snow. Boy, boy, oh boy. Oh, come on, come on, let's go. <sighs> I've heard that the uh, coyotes were in the mating season, but I thought that was three weeks ago. I don't know whether that's running late or what. That's the only, the only reason why I think he's uh, going crazy over licking the snow and stuff. <coughs> he smells like coyote bitches in here. And I know very little about coyotes, so I don't know. Just what I read from the uh, main fish and wildlife website. <clears throat> Get lucky or unlucky, and uh, Dead River Oil Company will deliver heating oil today. <sighs> and an off road diesel was. Four dollars and six cents a gallon. So you would think that uh, heating oil should be the same or a little bit less, but it's usually more than off-road diesel. Come on. Let's go. Hey.
Holy come on, you're really being fantastic. Let's go. Come on. Jeez. Let's just wrap it up. I hope Coyote Bait and Team is over soon. Or whatever it is, he's all bananas on looking at the snow. I'm pulling. Thanks for watching.